Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be, when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Dice House for Assassin's Creed 3 commentary. I'm going to try and bring you um, every sequence in the uh, series here in this game. Um, just the main story sequences and all that. I'll look at doing side missions later down the road if you guys want to see them from me and everything like that. You know, plus, you know, finding the, you know, where all the little collectibles and everything like that are in the game as well later down the road. But mostly this is just going to be me showing you guys how to get... Uh, full synchronization for all the synch all the main storyline sequences. All right, so this is going to be uh, sequence one right here, where we're going to be showing here. This is the very start, you know, as you can see, the very start of the game. Um, and uh, what we saw earlier before um, before was uh, the Let's go. Uh, basically the story up till now <laughs> narrative that we got for it uh, and everything. Um, as you all know, you know, last time we got left off here at the end of uh, Revelations, Assassin's Creed 2 left Revelations, um, you know, we learned we needed to go to North America, and that's where, you know, we found out that, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, it was alluded to and then later revealed that we were going to be dealing with having an assassin um, in the American Revolution, uh, you know, during the American Revolution time. And uh, I got to admit, the, um, the first few sequences in this... Um, game really threw me back uh uh took uh, taken by surprise by a lot of different things in here i'm not going to reveal nothing to you guys if you haven't played the game yet um some twists and turns and all that huge mega mind-blowing uh 
twist um, later on here in a, uh, in a video to come and all that. But I'm not going to spoil it and all that. I'm just going to sit back here and mainly let you guys watch and all that. Maybe talk a little bit, add in, you know, any commentary about what you need to do for certain it, sequences and everything to get your full synchronization in the world um, achievement or trophy again. with this game. All right, so let's go ahead and let them talk. I like how Desmond is carrying nothing in this. <laughs> Carries absolutely nothing. I think we're here. trying to figure out how to get my glow stick back because I didn't want to miss out on the rave. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there.
and thus begins the uh, obligatory tutorial opening to every uh, game um, they come out even if you've already played uh, uh, previous Assassin's Creed. Um, saying right now, I, I really like the new okay, flow. Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. I really like the new flow of the uh, free run um, in this. Um, it's a lot more fluid. Um, you can do a little bit more, um, especially later on you'll see um, when you're uh, parkouring through the forest and everything. Um, it's it's a lot more fluid. It looks it looks a lot better. Unfortunately, they didn't quite, you know, pick up on uh, you know any intuitive um, <laughs> things that you, you you wish your character would do. And you know, like you may be your way this little obstacle course. You may be off a little bit on a direction you're going, and you'll see right here. I totally yeah. Like why would I? want to jump into that wall <laughs> and fall <laughs> why would I want to do that um, so I mean it's the you know directionals are still very unforgiving but um, the free run like I said though especially you'll see later on here in um, later videos the free run is a lot more fluid looking That's a constraint. Uh, I really These uh, are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate all right Desmond follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars yeah, the first uh, the, um, sequence, uh, full synchronization thing right here is you have to do an air assassination, which is this a very easy um, optional objective to accomplish right here. Uh, All you have to do here is jump the gap. But again, right here, I mean, it's like it's very you know, tricky and unforgiving, um, because they've got a new hurdle, uh, aspect to it. If you're holding down the X button right there was what I did. I was holding down the X button because normally before previous games that made you run faster while you were running, holding the free run button. Um, yeah, don't do that anymore because, uh, now you like do a quick little hurdle over, um, objects like, you know, fences, logs and stuff like that. Um, while you're holding that X button, that's why that's why I fell right there. I did not know that. <laughs> but we're coming up here on the end of it and all that. Um, I'm going to get the second video ready for you guys here and out later today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're looking forward to getting some more videos uh, for Assassin's Creed 3. I really love the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, I've played every single one of them. Um, and uh, looking forward to seeing what your feedback is. If you got any questions, let me know. Until next time, y'all take care. Bye.